Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Atia. Today I'm coming to you guys with a what's on my iPhone 7 Plus, 128 gigabyte, real or gold. Um, this one should show you my phone first. It just looks like this, your typical gold iPhone. It is almost approaching my one year of having this before I upgrade. So I'm just gonna film a video of my thoughts and uh, what's on it first. So the case I have on is from Target, the pop socket from Target. This case was on sale for $9.99 and so was a pop socket. And I think that all the pop sockets at Target are nine are ten dollars. So this case is ten dollars, pop socket was ten dollars. So I brought it for a total of twenty. So since we're rapidly approaching fall, I just put this case on or this um screen protector on here. So it's currently 8 48 p.m. on Monday. September 18th. So we have a few weeks for fall, less than a few weeks actually. So I'm trying to start. First thing I have on here is calendar, phone, voice memos, weather, camera, photos, clock, settings, calculator, notes, folder, which has maps, reminders, FaceTime, the weather channel, Google Maps, and then NOAA weather. The reason why I have so many weather apps is because we just got hit by Hurricane Irma. So my phone was blown up. And also now Maria is coming to us, I believe. And I think Maria just hit, as of like 8 p.m., it hit category five hurricane. So we'll see what happens there because I was legit out of school for a whole week, which I enjoy. I have finances and I have health, which is just like the health app the phone comes with. Then I have education, which is Quizlet, Canvas, Word. Um, Quizlet comes in handy a lot because I, my very first year of college, my freshman year, my teacher gave us a test and she gave us like a paper test. And when you legit type the answer, a question into Google, the whole test came up on Quizlet. So Quizlet is good. Then I have Word. And if you go to college, your school gives you Word, like all of Microsoft, Microsoft Office, like all the stuff for free. So make sure you look into that. The next thing I have is Lifestyle, which is just iTunes and the App Store. Then I have Compass Voice Memos, which comes in handy a lot. If you're in college, I highly recommend this because you can record your lectures in here. So if you zone out like I do, you can easily go back and look at it. Then I have Contacts by my iPhone. This is a very important app. Always keep this on your phone. If your phone gets stolen like mine has in the past, it kind of helps. And it kind of doesn't because you really can't do much after you turn the phone off. But you can see the last location in your phone. Then I have home, which I don't know why I have, so I'm trying to delete that. Yeah. And that's it on that one. Then I have the Bible, T0, and it's cool because I graduate in 86 days and 15 hours from my AA. Then I move. I'm excited, y'all. Okay, so yeah, that's there. Then I have M Cycles, Bitmoji, Daily Horoscopes. I'm a Sag Sagittarius. Tell me, guys down below what your zodiac sign is yeah photo vault insta report it's just an app you can see who unfollows you and follows you i'm so sorry if you guys see my tripod in the reflection of my phone i'm trying to avoid that and yeah so then i have instagram this is my youtube instagram if you guys want to go follow my youtube instagram and go follow me on my Personal Instagram, which is Tia Nicole, and go like all my pictures. Look how, look how amazing I look. Look at that highlight. Like, come on now. And yeah, so go follow me on my Instagram. And then go follow my Twitter if you guys want to and to keep up to date with me. I'm not really like a personal tweeter, but I will retweet everything. And I also, I like finding funny things on Twitter. So yeah, go follow my Twitter. Then my Facebook, which is personal, but I do have... So yeah, then I have Snapchat. You guys can go add my code right there. My Snapchat is a Tia Nicole. And yeah, I, I post a lot on here, but I'm actually surprised that I didn't post anything recently. So then I have Tumblr, which I'm rarely on. Then I have YouTube, which you guys are watching on right now. I love this. I'm on YouTube like 24 seven every day, all night, when I'm bored. I love YouTube. So comment down below what your favorite YouTuber is. And yeah, so then I have Google Plus, then I have Studio App, which is just a way for me to keep up with uh, my videos and my, like all that stuff. So then I have in my arcade, Bad Piggies, BB Racing, Candy Crush Saga, Candy Crush Soda Saga. Then I have 8-Ball, which is like a pool. 
Mario one run, which costs four ninety nine in the app store. Then I have episode. I used to be obsessed with this game. It's not even a game. It's just like a storyline. But I logged when I got my new phone. It logged me out and I forgot my password and it won't let me see. Here's my hit restore. It like says wrong information. So I'm not gonna go back on there until they fix that. So <laughs> then I have all the Angry Birds. Angry Birds one two. Or, yeah, one and two. And then Rio. Then I have two dots. Hill uphill racing. Or a hero climb, sorry. Shakes to roll the ball. And it's like a uh, game, like a maze. And you have to like, okay, I'm not doing these ads. Um, get the ball in, in the right maze form. Then I have Amazon, Uber, Retail Me Not, Influencer, Poshmark. Go follow my Poshmark because I'm starting to sell more stuff on there. Then I have Groupon and Ibotta. And Ibotta is a great app. It legit pays you to shop. As you can see, I already made $20 on here. You guys can use my code DWQVURD and I'll put it in the description box below. And I think you guys get $10 for signing up with my code and I get $5 back, which is a win-win situation. Then I have SoundCloud, Pandora, 8Tracks, and Spotify. I use these when I'm in a mood. I mostly use SoundCloud because I love a lot of people on there. And I love listening to certain artists I listen to only go on SoundCloud. Then I have Lifetime app. I watch Dance Moms. And there's a, and it's so sharp. It's like a new dance show. And it's amazing. And whatever TV provider you have, just tells you to put your information in there. You can watch it. Then I have MTV. And I'm literally obsessed with the show Challenge. The Challenge. I've seen about five challenges so far. When I think there's a total of 30. Because this is 30 30. So. I have some questions to do, but I can watch the challenge all day. Then I have VH1, and I love watching Basketball Wives on here. Then I have A&E, and I love watching either Beyonce or Straight, which they ended that like a couple of months ago. 60 Days In, Live PD, and then A Night Watch. And A Night Watch is a really great show. It's about like the EMTs and police officers and like what they go through at nighttime. It's kind of interesting, but it's like more of a spin on the EMTs, what they go through, which is really interesting. Then I have ABC. I don't know why I keep saying that. Then I have USA. And I really like to watch um, Law & Order SVU. Then I have TLC, which is I watch Taller Than Tiaras. I'm not really watching anything now. Also, in Lifetime, I love watching Little Woman LA, Little Woman Atlanta, Little Woman Dallas. All the Little Women I watch. Then I have NBC, which I love. Love watching This Is Us and Timeless. Leave a comment below if you guys seen any of these shows. Because this show is amazing. It's like the people who go back in time. Because this guy's trying to change the world with Written House. And it's, it's so interesting. But they said they're not bringing this show back until 2018. Which pisses me off because the season finale was so freaking confusing. So yeah, and then This Is Us comes back this week, I believe. I think it already came, no. I don't know, but I'm gonna get, get caught back up with it. Then I have Discovery Go. Then I have Facebook Messenger, Reddit, and then Sweatcoin. This app literally pays you to walk. Um, Every mile, 100 steps you make, you get 95 of this. And then so far I took 100, 100, sorry. 1,740 steps and I made 94 cents already and accumulative so far since I have this app I made $70.51 so if you walk a lot I highly recommend this app and also you can buy stuff with what you made it's not shut it right now oh here it is you can buy watches like um tracker watches you can also like buy Amazon gift cards and sometimes they have iPhones on here, which you can buy an iPhone if you have like over 20,000 to 20,000 um, dollars. Then I have iMovie, which I edit my videos on. Then I have Aviary and VSO, C, VSCO Cam, which is a photo editor. Then I have um, Apartment Finder because I'm moving in December, so I'm trying to find apartments. Then I have Travel Advisor, Travelocity, Airbnb, and Expedia. I'm currently trying to plan a trip to Canada, so I'll tell you guys how that goes, because I'd rather go to Toronto. Then I have messages, mail, music, and Safari. So that's all I have on my phone. I think I showed you my case already. 
Um, so yeah, I've had this phone since my birthday of last year, December 3rd. I like it because, I mean, I've gotten used to the whole no headphone situation. I think every time Apple releases something like that, when no headphones or something like that, we all get used to it. We complain, but we get used to it. So I'm pretty used to it. The only thing I don't like about this phone is my battery life. I It completely sucks. Even when I first got it, my battery life sucked. So I don't like that. And I kind of want to upgrade to the iPhone X. The only thing, the only thing that's keeping me from doing that is the fact that I hate how the camera position on iPhone X. To me, it looks too Android-y. But then again, a lot of Androids and iPhones look the same now because I guess compete com competition. So you really can't tell sometimes. So I don't know, I'm not sure, and we'll see. If my birthday comes along this year and I upgrade, you guys will definitely know because you'll see a video on it. So it's all to say, if you guys have the iPhone, if you guys are wanting to upgrade, tell me why. And if you don't want to upgrade, tell me why also. And if you have a 7 Plus, tell me if you guys are upgrading to the 8 or the iPhone X or iPhone 10. And if you don't have a 7 Plus, what phone do you have and do you want to upgrade? So that's it in my video. I hope you guys liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.